It's the end of the night now and I've managed to sew on the two peacock feathers that I was wanting to. So two of them on the back, one on this leg and one on this leg. And um, I also sewed on the sequin patch even though I said that I wasn't going to. Um, I thought that the needle wouldn't be able to go through the sequin fabric but it went through fine actually. So I sewed down all of the ribbon onto the sequin fabric on the gold section and then I also sewed around the perimeter of the gold teardrop shape uh, to keep all of that into place. Um, I've yet to sew down the blue patches because I'm waiting to get all of the gold things done first and then I can change the thread and sew the blue patches. Another thing that I added were these little uh, gold pieces to the blue patch to make it look more like a feather. I don't know if it actually helps but I think it brings the whole look together. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I did get a little bit more puckering on this one than I was anticipating. Um, but again, this is the back, so it won't really matter. But um, for the front ones, I'm hoping that I won't, I won't have so much puckering like this. Um, I'm hoping that it will be quite flat and straight. And the reason why this is so puckered is probably because um, this part was already pinned down, whereas this part wasn't when I was sewing it, so I couldn't tell where it needed to go. Um, you can see this other one is a lot more straight. Um, a straight line whereas this is just blah. <laughs> um, yeah so that's the update for tonight. I am going to go to bed now and I'm hoping that I'm able to try and get two peacock feathers done per day um, and going at that rate I'd probably be able to finish this by the end of next week. We'll see. Um, yeah, there's a lot of work involved and it takes a long time to pin down each of these feathers and the ribbon. Um, but hopefully it will be worth it. I mean, I'm still not really loving the look of these. Um, but I've got no other choice. I've got no other option. That's what we're going with. Excuse my sick sounding voice, but I did just want to show um, the original sequin fabric which looks like this. Um, it's a lot more of a white gold um, and then what I did was paint each of the peacock feather teardrop shapes to be more of this yellow, a yellow sort of gold, uh, yeah I'd say a yellow bronzy tone and this was painted using um, acrylic paint mixed in with some sparkly powder stuff. <laughs> um, so this is now what the colour is. Um, the paint has made the fabric a lot more stiff whereas this is still very flimsy um, but yeah that just gives it a lot more support. And then as for the dark blue teardrop shapes they look like this and there is a placed on top of the gold ones with about mm, maybe a couple centimeters left at the bottom and then less room 
up the top. I don't know how to explain that. And then with the actual feathers, um, or like the little ribbon feather things, um, what we've been doing is pinning them underneath the blue and then over the top of the gold so they come out like that rather than coming out from here because if they're here then it just sort of looks like it's been this has been slapped on that's been slapped on and then that's slapped on, on it over the top um, so to make it just a bit more um, cohesive I've put these underneath the blue and then over the top of the gold and then as for the ribbon that meets at the top um, that crosses across the blue and the gold and then I've added some additional ribbon here just to make it look a little bit more organic. Um, yeah, so that's the peacock teardrop shapes. And um, yeah, at the moment we're about halfway done with the pants. Um, so still another four more peacock feathers to go with the pants. And then there is hopefully just eight on the cape. Um, I don't want to do any more on that. Um, at the moment it's taking me about over an hour to sew just one peacock feather and to pin one peacock feather it takes, if there's both my sister and I working on it, it takes about half an hour minimum. So you can see already that it's taking a very long time to sew these peacock feathers. So today's Sunday and we're hoping to get as many peacock feathers done as possible. So yeah. I'm on to sewing the last feather on the pants right now and I just wanted to zoom out to show you what what even am I doing like this thing is engulfing my sewing machine <laughs> but yes one more one more to go and then and then I will need to change my thread to the blue thread so I can sew around the perimeter of all of these dark blue pieces <sighs> What is my life? So the pant overlay has finally been finished. So here they are, and there are eight peacock feathers altogether, four on each pant leg, as you can see. And um, I've put in the gathering stitches at the bottom, um, but they haven't been gathered yet. The hook and eye has been sewn in at the center back. So just there is where the hook and eye is and now it's time to put the pant overlay on top of the actual pants so these ones here these are the actual pants um, so yeah I'm just going to put the overlay on top of the pants I'm going to um, attach the pant overlay at the waistband and sew that down and then somehow figure out how to gather the bottom over the top of what's already there and then I'll just attach the pant overlay to the cuff that's already there as well so hopefully that shouldn't take too long but considering these pants this pant overlay took me mm, just to finish them off like finish off one feather took many hours. This could also take many many hours but I hope it doesn't take that long. Hmm. We'll see. So I've just finished sewing the pant overlay to the waistband of the main pants. Um, so they've been sewn from about the same place as the other the other pant layers. Um, so there is that opening in the front uh, in the back there. Sorry. So that all overlaps in the back, and then same with the pant overlay, and then it's sewn from about here all the way around the front to here where the main hook and eye is and then these overlap as well in the back so that is the pants almost done um, I'm still yet to you know do the bottom part 
Um, but I'm going to leave it here for now and hopefully throughout the week I'll get around to gathering the bottom of the pants. Um, but yeah, I've just had enough of um, working on this today. It's a bit of a beast now. It's so big. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get back to it later this week. And hopefully by the end of this week I will have a full finished pair of jasmine pants. And that will be super exciting. And then after that, it's the cape and the bodice left. And then some accessories. So yeah, that's um, that's the pants. I should probably like try them on or something and give a spin. So you can see all of the peacock feathers. Um, but I guess if I hold them, hold them like this. There you go, you can sort of see them. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm really excited, but I might not sound like it because I am a little bit under the weather, but um yeah, I'm super super happy with how these are looking so far. And I just really hope that they all work to plan and by the end of this week I will have a nice pair of jasmine pants just hung the pants up on the coat hanger um, so you can get a better look at um, the peacock feathers so um, I don't know if I explained this before but the easiest way I found to sew the peacock feathers was to start from the top and then sew all the way down to the point there and then I started from here from the top branch things and then work my way around all the way around back up the other side and then I would sew um, around the perimeter of the gold and then also any little detailed things in the center there um, so that's what I found easiest to do and then after I'd sewn all the gold parts then I went in with a blue thread to sew down these parts and yeah so now they're all very secure um, yeah not much else to say um, for these top parts here where it um, meets the waistband the gold ribbon has been overlapped over the top edge and then sewn back down the other side so there's actually double ribbon here one on the front and then one on the back and they're all sewn in the same seam stitch thing um, and then across the top that's all been sewn down to the waistband of the main pants so you can see all the layers there and yeah and then obviously the bottom has not been gathered yet but all of the gathering stitches are there and you may have noticed that this is extra long so it will curve around the hem of the pant nicely and this part here I didn't have enough fabric so I had to piece together whatever I had left as you can see here with a French seam and then that's just providing enough length to reach the bottom edge of the pant um, so this is not enough fabric to reach over and under so that's just going to sit there um, and float <laughs> float on the side whereas all of this will be gathered in and under like so and then that will float <laughs> so that's why that's just like that um, and then for the feather placement there's one in the front one on the side front this is the side seam and then obviously two in the back so one side back and one on the actual back so the four on each leg, as I've said many times, I think. And apart from that, there's nothing, nothing much else to say. So I hope you enjoyed that detailed look at the feathers.